So let's have a look at the material select component. So I'm here at the Angular Material page and the latest version. And there's a component here called select, which is basically the material version of a normal select box. So this would be a more native implementation. This is the more material like, which has a kind of a popover and some basically material effects if you scroll over them. So let's just pick here uh, one arbitrary example and open that up into stack blitz. And that's very handy because it allows us to interact with the example and add some custom behavior. So what I want to show today is how we can actually access programmatically these options and manip manipulate them when they are being rendered. First of all, let me remove here some of that example code, which we don't need for our purpose. And then let's dive into what we are going to achieve. So first of all, let me create a directive because the, the approach here, which I want to take is to add a directive to a material select, which would then basically customize the underlying options. And so the first approach here is to just generate a new directive. And let me just call it my directive. And here, basically, we have the whole directive being shown in our stack example. And then usually what you would do is actually go and inject here, for instance, the um, add ref, the element ref, which then allows you to actually access the underlying native element to grab a DOM element of the material option. So let me quickly do that just to showcase that approach. Um, and so what I do here is the element ref dot native element. And let's just console log that out just to see basically what gets printed. Now we also need to register our directive. So first of all, we need to add it here to our material select, but we also need to make sure to register it to a module, which usually the Angular CLI does for you. But since I'm here in a stack, for example, it's not completely automatic. So let me just import that and add that to the decorations section further down here. Let me fix that typo here and go to the console. We can see how our element here gets being rendered out. And this is the math select, which we grab here. And now we could go here and do an actual query selector to grab, the, all, the, to grab all of the option instances. Now I can already tell you that this won't work. And the reason for that is because that basically select options down here are not being rendered as a child of that material select, but rather they're being rendered at the body level inside an overlay. And we can also see that if we open it up and we see that my options here, and these are in that overlay container, which is at the very same root level as the body. So it's basically the body and then directly there is that div of that overlay container. Now the reasoning for that is because this panel here is absolutely positioned within the page such that it can be made sure that it always stays on top of other elements. So directly doing a child query on top of that material select element wouldn't work. Now the approach which we want to take is a different one. If you go to the API of the material select, you can see that there is actually a property which is panel which holds the reference or the element ref of that panel that renders the options, which is exactly what we need, right? So now the next question is like, how can we actually grab such an instance of that material select within our directive? And in Angular, there's a very neat property, which many people don't actually know or use, which is we can use dependence injection, not only for injecting services, but also for injecting other components like parent components or even like the host component in this case where my directive lives on. And so what I can do here is I can just like say here mat select, which is of type material select. And now I'm doing that in the ng on init. So for simplicity, I know I'm not going to import the interface here, but you get idea. I can now access the mat select dot panel property, which would give me exactly that element ref. And on top of that one, I can then go and do the native element and then the query selector and everything I would like to do in order to grab basically the instances of these mat options. Now there's one thing which we also need to do. So let me just do a console.log 
of this one here. And this would actually result in an error. As you can see already here, is it cannot write, read the property native element of undefined, which means like that panel is undefined. And the reason is that those options are only being rendered if you open a material select, but once you close them, they're basically removed from the DOM and they wouldn't be there anymore. And so there's one other thing which we need to do in order to kind of complete our example here is there is an actual observable property here on the material select, which I can subscribe to. And that tells me basically whenever the material select is open. And so I can say if is opened, now actually I can grab that reference and I can actually go and render it. And so now if I click and open it up, you can see like all of the mat options are being rendered out here. And inside that block here, I could now go and add some properties and manipulate it accordingly.